I never tell anyone this is the way you should work out or this is the way anyone should work out. I just show this is what I do. You know, this is what I like to do and I have fun doing it. And as you can see, having fun doing stuff, man, there's no limit to what you can do or how much you can lift or, you know, how far you can go. Hey, hi, BB Pro, John Neal Jackson here. It's Saturday morning. I'm going solo. Um, four weeks out from the Arnold, so I need a little pep in my step. I don't got it right now. Uh, serious. Um, and now it's really become serious business. Um, so, uh, you know what I mean? Before the workout, I need to slam a little madness <sighs> so I can get a little mad in here. <sighs> Go get the popcorn. Bobby Beyond. Now I just want to reiterate to you guys, time and time again we get asked, myself, Branch Warren, you know, why do we look the way we do? Why how do you get this grainy look? You know, how to get so peeled. Well, you see it in each and every video. It's not rocket science, it's straight simple. It's getting in the gym, grabbing some heavy weight, and going to town until the wheels fall off. And like I said before, two years ago, mine fell off. I passed them up, I'm back on the road again. So when they fall off, it don't mean that you're done. It just mean you just delay for a little bit. You know, you patch yourself up, you get it going again. Anyway, like I said, this is the way to do it. You want to get grainy, you want to get peeled, you want to get in shape, you want to show them. Well, this is the way to do it. Get in the gym and get it on, baby. 100 miles an hour and run it. Yeah, you guys, just like I do, you see guys walking around, you know, on the daily, guys and gals, on the daily, looking good, looking in shape, and stuff like that, you know, and uh, that's all good, but there's levels to this shit, and to get to the next level, this is the way you do it, is grinding in the gym, you know, <sighs> just remember that, in everything, there's levels to it, and if you want to beat that level, you got to get it on, and you got to do a little bit more than what the next man is doing. Don't forget that. You know, just getting done training, you know, I can't help but to think, you know, sit here and think, you know, after they're starting to cool down, you know, how people limp themselves. You know, I look back over to, you know, my workout just now, a lot of it doesn't make sense, you know, it really doesn't make sense to me. Sometimes, you know, the weight that I grab and, you know, speed that I'm going and how sometimes I'm looking at the weight and how heavy it seems in my eyes, but then when I touch it, it's so light, but, uh, you know, that's being limitless, you know, not having limits, not putting limits on yourself, you know, that's just, you know, what we talk about, you know, doing, you know, each time, and, you know, I'm all about it, not just talking about it, I'm all about doing it and showing it.
Ain't no easy way. with my faith, you know, and, uh, in God, my faith in myself, my faith in my family, along with, uh, you know, not limiting myself to, you know, certain things or, you know, because I'm a certain statue, because I weigh a certain amount or I'm a certain height, I don't suppose to do this or I don't suppose to do that. It's like, you know, the other day when I'm doing uh, shoulders, I'm doing 90 pounds, I'm four weeks out from the Arnold and I'm doing 90 pounds side laterals, you know, for 10 reps. and. You know, I shouldn't be able to do this, that right now, but I've done it, you know, and people look and, uh, you know, think or hear and think, you know, yeah, right, you know, where I can do that if I'm swinging it, I can, you know, I've seen comments like that, people saying, you know, watch me, if I swung it, I can do that, well, grab the damn weight and see if you can swing and do it then, if you think so, if it's that easy, you know, only if it was that easy. You know, you know, people like to run their mouth, but uh, they don't like to get in and do it, do the stuff either. You know, it's one thing saying it, it's another thing doing it. And I'm all about doing it, and I'll show it, you know, whether it's pretty or not. It don't always have to be pretty, it just has to be effective. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty goddamn effective. Um, so I'm going to keep on doing it. Look, I normally don't do this and try to teach while I'm in in the middle of an intense workout, but this is one of my favorite, you know, big muscle building or big tricep building exercises. This close grip bench. Don't ruin it by bringing your elbows in like you're bench pressing. Make sure you keep your elbows slightly out so you're concentrating more on the triceps and not as much on that chest and shoulders. So, like I said, while performing this, keep your elbows slightly out more, not tucked in. You're welcome. You know, the one, you know, I guess, you know, the point of the whole story is stop limiting yourself, you know, just get in the gym, you know, grab your goals, set them down, you know, be smart about what you do, of course, but um, don't limit yourself to uh, in a little small box, you know, break out of these boxes, man, you know, put these freaking cameras down, you know, and break out of these boxes and, you know, train hard and uh, maybe you can accomplish something.